Hey buddies, Mr. Puggy here, coming at your Nutter Wonderlands video. Now the item we're going to be talking about today is going to be called the Divergent. Now the Divergent is a lovely looking feedier shotgun, I'll say right there. I love the double barrel as you see right here. Now this is one of the legendaries I've been most excited for because when you reload it, you know, feediers have fun little reloads, it's going to spawn a little dice, which is very nice. It does actually pretty hefty damage. And as far as I'm aware, the amount that you have in your magazine seems to deal more damage, which isn't usually the case, but that's just what I've examined. It, the, da the difference isn't like a huge amount, but it definitely allows you to deal a decent bit more damage. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch on top right. You have no idea how much helps me out, and let's get into it. Legendary? Whoa! No way! <laughs> Now this item is able to spawn in every single element as far as I'm aware and data mining suggests that this drops only from the Wheel of Fate. So not Shum Chum's the old god, only the Wheel of Fate, which is interesting to me. The nice thing about the shotgun is it is able to bounce off of walls and everything, but it has a limited range. So if I were to shoot it all the way over there, you see that the bullets then disappear, which isn't that big of a deal. It has a pretty long range. So even if I'm over here, I'm able to deal a decent bit of damage. The damage of the shotgun honestly isn't too, too bad. But of course, if I was using a more optimized build for the shotguns, it'd deal a little bit more damage. But the main fun part and damage dealing part of the gun itself is going to come from the dice as you see right there so after you're done shooting a couple of times you're going to then throw a nice damaging dice at the target right here sometimes i've noticed it deals a large amount of damage and other times i feel like it doesn't deal that much damage and then when it's done bouncing around the area it then of course explodes as well funnily enough as you see right here the bullets themselves are actually little dice which is very cool let me see if I can't get a little bit closer. Here we go. Here's a nice example. So all of these are little D20s. So you're shooting dice with this gun, which is super, super cool. I think that is one of the more flavorful things in the entire DLC. It's definitely really fun to play around with. Now the dice that you actually throw out is able to knock up foes, but I've seen that these guys have a hard time getting knocked up. But of course, like any other shotgun, you can just shoot them normally and then they'll, you know, get knocked away like normal. Maybe if I was hitting regular smaller enemies or humans, they would get knocked up easier, but the coil doesn't seem to want to get knocked away at all with the dice. It's definitely really fun. I would definitely really love to see maybe someone eventually make a build to make the dice itself, like the reload and everything, deal a ton and ton of damage. But at the current moment, the damage seems to be random, which is appropriate. You know, it's a it's a it's a dice, but I don't think it's supposed to do that. I've just seen it randomly deal large amounts of damage, and that might really just be because I'm getting crits randomly. But <laughs> sometimes I can get it to deal like 16k. Sometimes I can get it to deal 18k. Sometimes like maybe only like 8k. So that might be a play on the dice being a random chance and everything. So maybe that's like intended. I don't think there is any data mine information that suggests that there was a random chance with the actual dice itself, but you know, <laughs> who knows? And as always a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We have Jace Noodles, Clairvoyance, Rick and Glacia, Super Noob, Josh Dig, 31 Bar 70, Doorman Tazzy, Grey Wolf, and Witchkeeper. These are the people who support me as little as $5 a month. And you can also support me as little as $5 a month by clicking the link in the comments the description or in the top right to become a member the more members we have the closer i get to becoming full-time which means more videos for you guys and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and i hope you all have a great day <laughs> bye bye and the last shall be first to immerse in a pass out heat facing him up with a moxie melted he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell more in a cave with a torch on a wall than a window arrangement of porcelain dolls